اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته for the thought of today and the hadith we want to reflect upon from the commander of the faithful Imam Ali may God's peace and blessings be upon him it's a very short hadith but yet it has a depth of meaning and understanding in it that we need to seriously reflect upon and think about and ultimately also do our best to implement within our lives as with many of the traditions of the commander of the faithful and really all of the members of the Ahlul Bayt they all have a moral lesson in them for us to follow and something which we can take away and try to actually put forth in our day-to-day -day practice and for today the tradition says the following a person should not travel if in that trip there is a threat to his religion or his salat the hadith itself, the words of the commander of the faithful, Imam Ali, may God's peace and blessings be upon him, are very clear and straightforward and don't really require a explanation or a commentary. But we see that in the life that we lead, just to understand the hadith a bit better and for further clarity, we see that in the life that we lead, that obviously one of the things that we look forward to in the summer vacation or in the summertime or in the winter perhaps or in certain peak periods of the year, is some downtime to relax, to take a vacation, to take it easy, uh, to get away from work and all of the vicissitudes of life and all of the uh, you know, challenges that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And so one of the things obviously that we end up doing is going on a vacation, going away to some exotic destination, flying away to some uh, you know, far off point of the world to enjoy our, our weekend or week or two off. Uh, or sometimes, no, it's not a vacation and that sort, but it is a trip, um, for, for example, for Umrah or for the Ziyarat of one of the infallibles. Whatever the case may be, obviously, uh, we need to look at that trip and understand it in the context of this hadith, where the commander of the faithful tells us that if a trip entails us having to sacrifice our religious beliefs, uh, if we are going to lose our practice of our religion, not only the Salat, although this is one of the examples the Imam has given, but if we were to lose any aspect of our religious commitment, if we were, for example, in a situation where we had to eat something prohibited, or we weren't able to fast, or we weren't able to do one of our obligations that we have, then as the commander of the faithful says that we need to have a second thought about that trip that we need to reevaluate our priorities in life. We need to really sit and look in the mirror and think to ourselves, is that vacation really worth it? Is it really worth it to go and relax in an exotic location if I'm not going to be able to eat permissible food? Or if my eyes will be wandering and looking at things which I should not be looking at? Or if, for example, I won't be in a position to be able to offer my daily prayers on the time and with that punctuality that I normally would have. These and many other questions are things that we need to think about before we do anything in life. And for example, as the commander of the faithful says in this tradition, that when we have to make a trip, when we have to make a journey, we need to think and reflect and see that will there be some danger to our religion, to our performance of an obligation, to our commitment to the teachings of Allah, given to us through the Prophet Muhammad and his noble family, the Ahlul Bayt. We ask Allah to be able to give us the wisdom to be able to look and to investigate into such things and such issues within our life and to follow the best path in life. And that is the path of Muhammad and Ali Muhammad. May God's peace and blessings be upon all of them. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.